I've got a number of EC2 instances running on AWS, and I'm interested in knowing how much a specific one is costing me. So the instance in question I've named Possibly Costly, and we'll take note of a couple of details about it. First, its instance type is T2 small. It's running in availability zone AP Southeast 2B, which is one of the availability zones coming out of Sydney, and its platform is Windows. So to get started figuring out this instance's cost, we'll use the AWS Simple Monthly Calculator, and we'll show the URL for that on screen. So to use the calculator, choose your region, and as you'll remember, our region is Sydney, and we'll add a new row to the Amazon EC2 instances list. Now just to keep everything uniform, I'll add a description, and I'll reuse the name of the instance that I'm looking for. Note that this description doesn't have to match the name, it's just simply to help identify things if you put multiple instances on this calculator. Next I'll configure the type. So we learnt that the platform's Windows, so I'll select that, and then I'll scroll down until I see T2 small. Once I've found that, I'll select it and close and save. If you're good about shutting down your instance overnight when you're not using it, you can adjust the usage. So if you happen to know that you only use it 50% of the time, you could enter that here and it will adjust the costs. But for me, this instance is running 24-7, so I'll make sure my usage is at 100%. We also know this instance isn't using any extra storage, and its data transfer is pretty low, but I'll enter it here. I know the transfer out is about 2 gigabytes per month, and the transfer in is about 1 gigabyte per month. So now if we scroll back up and head to Estimate My Monthly Bill, we can see that it's estimating a bill of $28.11 a month. So we know what this instance should be costing us, but now let's see if we can actually find some specific data to back that up. And we'll do that by heading to the main AWS dashboard, signing in, and then going up to my username and choosing billing dashboard. So here I can see my month to date spend split out by service. So I can see that so far this month I've spent $4.61 on EC2 resources. And I can drill into this bill a little bit by clicking on bill details. Expanding out Elastic Compute Cloud and my region, which is still Sydney. And then I can see some more granular information about how this bill is being generated. And I can see a line item for an on demand Windows T2 small instance. So, given that I've only got one T2 small instance, I can be fairly confident that this cost of $4.61 is only relating to that one instance. But let's see if we can get even more specific information and be 100% certain. If we head to Cost Explorer, we'll see a page where I can launch Cost Explorer. Now when you first go here, you'll have to actually activate the service, and then you won't see any information within the service for 24 hours after you've activated it. And it's only going to show you information from that point in time, after which you click the button. But after that 24 hour wait, you can go ahead and launch Cost Explorer, and you'll be taken to a dashboard where you can generate reports on your billing data. Now by default this is going to show you the last six months in a standard monthly EC2 report, but I haven't been using AWS for long enough for this report to show a lot of information. So I can turn this last six months down to say the last seven days, and then change the monthly grouping to daily, and I can see my spend over the last seven days. Note that at the moment the usage type is set to EC2 running hours, and if I turn that off I can see my spend across all AWS resources. But how do we go about seeing specifically what that one instance is costing? We can do that using tags, and before we have a look in this section, I'll quickly go over how you can set tags. So there's a number of default ones, name is one of them, as is a number of other identifiers for each instance. But if you go to the tags tab, you can define your own. So you'll note that I've already got a tag here with the key of cost report and the value of TechSnips demo. If you wanted to add or edit tags, there's a button here, and you can freely edit them here. And note that changing the value for name would actually change the name of my instance. So if you want to add a tag, you can click Create Tab and give it any key and any value. Once you've created a tag, you can head back to your billing dashboard and go to Cost Allocation Tags. And you can activate tags for cost allocation reporting in the Cost Explorer. So you can see under Status that I've already activated name and cost report, 
and it's important to activate any tags ahead of time as cost explorers takes about 24 hours to realize that you've activated a tag and then it only shows you information from the point in time after it's figured out that you've got an activated tag which is really frustrating if you haven't done this well ahead of time before you actually need the information so if you wanted to define a new tag you can find it in the list so for example if i wanted description i can click on that and then choose activate and as i said it will take about 24 hours before that's available in cost explorer but if we head back to cost explorer we can choose tag and it will show us our activated tags and as you can see i've got name and cost report already so if i choose name it will go off and find all the values that we've got and one of them is that possibly costly instance so if i select that from the list and choose apply filters i can now see exactly how much my instance is costing me each day and that being about 92 cents now the reason why i've got that other tag in there this cost report one is i can assign this tag to multiple instances that constitute a specific project or department within my organization so at the moment this is only applied to that one possibly costly instance so i'm just seeing the same data but if i wanted to report on two or three instances at the same time without figuring out their individual names using a custom tag is a good way to go about it so i've now successfully figured out exactly how much my ec2 instances costing me thanks for watching